Hello friends, welcome back to HealthQ channel. Educational, inspirational and informative videos every single Monday to boost up your health motivation. I am your host Meghna and today we are going to talk about cervical radiculopathy. This is also commonly known as pinched nerve in your neck or else shoulder region. I have got many patients who not only suffer from neck pain but their pain actually radiates from their neck to the shoulder and all through their hands. Now this pain is always associated with some tingling, numbness, weakness in hands and some pricking kind of sensation. At that time the probable cause could be cervical radiculopathy. Basically cervical radiculopathy is a disease process which is marked by nerve compression that happens because of either herniated disc or some arthritic spurs that develops in the cervical spine. So to understand cervical radiculopathy, we need to first understand the structure of our cervical spine. We have got eight cervical bones which starts from the base of your skull and goes to the shoulder level. Now when these bones join together, they form a joint which is called as facet joint. And between these bones, there are some bed-like structures which are also called as disc which helps in prevention of wear and tear that happens in our day-to-day -day life. With aging, degeneration and some other traumas, these discs get damaged which leads to the prolapse or as herniation of this disc material which, which goes towards the spinal cord which leads to the compression of the nerves causing the symptoms that are more neurological like decreased in the sensation, pain, tingling numbness and weakness. When a patient suffers from cervical spondylosis, at that time there are some bony spurs that are formed and also there is reduction in the joint space which leads to a lot of pressure that directly happens to the nerve that comes out or else branches out out of these facet joints. And this pressure causes the symptoms of pinched nerve like radiation, tingling, numbness etc. Clinically looking, the patient suffering from cervical radiculopathy will suffer from symptoms like radiating pain in their neck and shoulders, paresthesia, tingling numbness in your hands, weakness in the movement and muscles of your hand, arms and little fingers. The patient also complains of headaches, pain in the shoulder blade region particularly and some tender areas around your upper back and neck region. Also, sensory impairment in the hands. Severity of these symptoms depends on age, gender, muscles being affected, level at which this nerve compression is happening and also the overall health status of the patient. Secondary to these symptoms, the patient may also land up with some other symptoms like weakness of the muscles of your shoulder region, increased pain in the areas like upper back, postural defects, slouched posture, headaches, also, many people have this defect of capsular tightness or increased stiffness in the shoulder region. Diagnosis of cervical radiculopathy is often made with the help of an orthopedic surgeon who goes up with the process of history taking, physical examination, some diagnostic physical test and prescribed procedures like x-ray, CT scan, MRI etc. Sometimes to understand the level of nerve compression, EMG that is electromyographical studies and nerve conduction velocity studies are also prescribed in order to understand the overall status of the patient. Management methods for cervical radiculopathy or else pinched nerves involved a combination of conservative method with physiotherapy and sometimes when the patient does not respond to the conservative ways, surgical procedures are used. Significant amount of evidence that support and combined effort of physiotherapy and conservative management are helpful in long term outcomes of cervical radiculopathy. But when the nerve compression and spinal cord compression is more than 40% along with some sensory deficit and neurological signs and symptoms, surgical procedures are often. Conservative management includes physiotherapy, epidural injections, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, corticosteroids and also some lifestyle modification. Therapy basically focuses on exercise therapy, lifestyle modification exercises, strengthening and stretching exercises and also electrical modalities in order to reduce the symptoms of the patients. In the next video we are going to discuss some tips that can help out for the people suffering from cervical radiculopathy or pinched nerve that can help them out in carrying out their day-to-day -day activities. I hope you find this video useful. Please share your feedbacks with me by posting the comment in the comment section below or else you can also visit my free Facebook group. The name of the group is HealthQ where I come live 
and we have discussion on all the topics that I am creating videos on and you can share your queries as well there and also meet like-minded people. So see you there and don't forget to visit my new website. The name of the website is www.medafitclinic.com where I post a lot of tips, life stories and motivational content on health that will help you out to boost up your health motivation. And don't forget to subscribe. See you. Bye-bye.